here on the OCU Athletics Update, we're talking to Delaware Resource Group Super Star Athlete of the Week, Taylor Glassby Walton, a junior cheerleader from Arlington, Texas, who recently performed in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And uh, Taylor, what part of the parade did you perform in and what was your routine? So, of course, I marched in the parade and then at the end of the parade, we performed a routine. And so my part in it was I got to throw stunts, I got to throw baskets, and got to be in pyramids. And so that was pretty much it. How did that opportunity come about for you? So Macy's wanted to open up the parade more to college students, and then they needed more males. And Carly had done it before, like in the past year. And so they just all thought that I would be a great fit for it. Uh, you mentioned Carly Judkins, OCU assistant coach, as well as an alumna that you got to perform with. What was it like having her there with you? Was that helpful for you? So me and Carly have been friends and teammates, and I'm blessed to have her as my coach. So having her there was so much fun. We got to cheer together again, which we haven't been able to do for two years. And then, you know, we just got to explore New York, go see some sights. It was just great to have a friend there that I already knew. <laughs> You've contributed to two of OCU's national championships, including last year. What will you take away from those national championships and what was special about winning last year's on your home floor? <sighs> winning nationals on my home floor was more than extraordinary. It was the best feeling I've ever had. It's just from waking up that morning to going to prelims to being up by nine points after prelims and then going to sleep, waking up for finals and just kind of, you just kind of knew. Like we had that lead and then going into finals, it was just really laxed. We were having fun in the locker room before we performed and then we performed, we did great, went to awards, came out on top and it was just great because my family was there, our friends were there, all different coaches, different athletes were all there supporting us, and it was the most amazing experience like, I ever went through. One of the things that uh, you're probably most recognizable for to Stars fans is your length of the court tumbling routine that you do during athletic events. How did you develop that, and uh, what, does that, what does that feel like when you're in the middle of that? Okay, so, I'm a self-taught tumbler, so this actually happened. I was watching the Athens Olympics back in 2004. I was about six years old. I was watching floor. And so I can't remember who was performing, but I just watched him like do all of these just amazing flips. And so I went into my living room. And I was just like, you know what? I can do this. So threw a back handspring, landed on my feet. And I was like, oh, I really can do this. So I was like, let's go for two. I did two. And then, you know, the rest is history. Once you get two, it's just easy. You just stay in one body position, just keep on trucking. And so doing that now, you know, now that I'm a little bit older, it kind of hurts more than when I was younger, but it's still, it's a lot of fun. I love supporting our teams. What brought you here to OCU? Of course, cheerleading was the reason I picked the school, um, actually it was mostly Carly because I was a gymnast for most of my life. And so my senior year of high school, I decided I want, wanted to switch to cheer. And so I went to a recruitment clinic up here in Oklahoma City where, of course, OCU was there and Carly was there recruiting. And so like she was just so attentive with like wanting me to come here. She was super sweet. She told me about the school, how great it was. She told me about the different scholarship opportunities I can get. And like it was just kind of funny because every time like a different coach would talk to me, you could always kind of see her in the background. And like I talked to like Roger State. And so she hadn't she was friends with the coach and so she's like, No, he's coming to OCU, like He's ours, and just from there, I was just like, this is the place I wanna be. It felt, it felt like home. What's your major here? I'm a psychology major. So what kind of career plans do you have? I wanna be a sports psychologist. Ultimately, I wanna work for an NBA team, whether it's the Lakers or the Nuggets. I just wanna be around athletes, I wanna be around sports. It's my favorite. All right, we're talking to Delaware Resource Group Super Star Athlete of the Week, Taylor Glassby Walton. You can follow the stars on OCUsports.com.
At Oklahoma City University, it's on all of us to put an end to sexual violence in our campus community. Title IX is a federal law that addresses our students' right to education free from sex discrimination. OCU Athletics is committed to fostering a culture of respect for all members of our community. We aim to embody respect and sportsmanship in all aspects of life. And it's our job as athletes to intervene when something isn't right. It's our responsibility as athletes, role models, and members of the community to look out for one another. OCU athletes are not just champions on the field, we also strive to be champions of character. Consent is explicit, not implied. Sexual contact without consent is sexual assault. It's on us. It's on us. To intervene when something doesn't seem right. To recognize that alcohol is never an excuse. It's on us. It's on all of us. To make it known we will not tolerate this from peers, teammates, friends, anyone. To create an environment that respects everyone's rights and boundaries. To do the right thing. It doesn't just happen to women. It's on us as teammates to lead by example. To make it known that jokes about sexual assault are unacceptable. To step up and say something. To step up and say something. To step up and say something. To never blame the victim. To support survivors. To be more than a bystander. It's on us. It's on us. It's on us. Every day, we all choose the type of person that we want to be and the type of athlete that we want to be. And for me, the important lesson there is you got to wake up every day willing to earn it and make the most of it. It's on us. It's on us. It's on us. It's, it's on, on all of us, us OCU. OCU. Here on the OCU Athletics Update, we're talking to stunt coach Mandy Gersheski, recently hired as OCU's new stunt coach. And coach, we've reintroduced stunt on the OCU campus. How does the previous success that OCU has had in that sport kind of springboard you forward for this year? I feel like having that um, under our belt has moved us forward pretty well. Um, having the experience within the coaching staff, having the experience with a couple of the athletes. Most of the athlete, athletes have not done stunt this year or in past years, um, so it's new to them this year. Um, but it has given us a little bit of an advantage from having done it in a, a couple of years ago, several years ago, I should say. Um, but most of the athletes on the team currently have never done stunt before. Last year, you coached at St. Gregory's in the uh, Cheer National Championships, which were held here at OCU. What was it mm -hmm. like to coach in the first national championship on an intercollegiate level in the sport of cheerleading? We were extremely excited to perform in the national championship because the NAIA is the only co collegiate division that offers a national championship. The D1 and D2 schools do not offer um, a national championship, a legitimate national championship, say the NCAA does not offer a cheerleading national championship. And that's something that's really special for us and something that us within the NAIA, that what, whether we coach in the NAIA or we're an athlete within the NAIA, it's really special and, and dear to our hearts because we are the only group that does that championship and that it is recognized by the NAIA. Describe the sport of stunt for us. Stunt the sport is set up as a game style. So two teams go head to head right next to one another and they're performing four quarters. So in each game, there are four quarters. There's quarter one, which is stunts, quarter two, which is baskets and pyramid, then quarter three, which is jumps and tumbling, and then quarter four is kind of a mini routine of all of those levels put together. Um, there is also a halftime. So it's legitimately a game that is head to head with only two teams. It's not a full competition where everyone is competing against everyone. It is a, a competition essentially against two teams, just like a basketball game. It, and you gain points by performing the better routine out of the two routines that are going at the same time and whoever has the most points wins at the end. How many athletes compete on a team? There are 36 members on the roster for stunt. So all 36 will, will compete in the game? Yes, in okay. most cases. There are 18 routines total. 
So we have to learn 18 routines, and then amongst that, we have to do the, um, the quarter four where all routines are combined. 36, that's a big roster. Any specific yes. athletes you'd like to highlight? I would like to highlight Destiny Harmon. She is an athlete coming from UCO. She did not cheer at UCO, but she has come onto the team and has really shown herself. She has amazing jumps, amazing tumbling, and she can build any stunt and pyramid that we ask her to, to put up in the air. And she's got a great attitude, and I think that she's gonna go really far here at OCU. She is a spring transfer. What has kind of shaped your coaching philosophy? I would say learning each athlete individually has been the most important thing for me as a coach and as a growing coach. I mean, I feel like every day I'm learning and every day is an educational moment for, for all of us coaches. The kids are teaching us and in return we're teaching them as well. Um, but I do think learning each athlete's specific style, how well they can handle a, more of a, an aggressive style of coaching, if they can't handle an aggressive style of coaching, if, if they need to be kind of patted on the back a little bit more, given a little bit more encouragement, or if they can handle the, the let's go type of style. So learning each athlete individually, I would say, is one of my big things. What do you look for in a prospective student athlete? I look for versatility, for sure. If a, if a cheerleader can jump, stunt, and tumble, then we're really looking at that person. Now we are in our, like our level six skills that we have to do. If there is a person out there that might not have the best stunting skills, but she's got amazing tumbling skills and we need her for that level six routine for jumps and tumbling, then we might pull on someone with that type of um, with that type of athleticism versus them being super versatile, but we really look for kids that are versatile in our sport. What do you think makes OCU unique? The small family atmosphere. I feel like everyone here is extremely nice and extremely welcoming to campus. I, mean, I know whenever I came on campus, everyone welcomed me with open arms, regardless of, well, she was from St. Gregory's or kids from coming, like transferring in from other schools this semester, and everyone has just been extremely nice and extremely welcoming. I feel like the athletic programs here are really top notch, and they're always pushing to be the best, and I, I find that, um, I find that extremely, one of those things where I look at a different program or a different athletic program, and we want to push to be that good, or we want to do this better for our athletes because these athletes are getting that. So I feel like most of all that it's been such a welcoming situation for, for the transfer kids and myself as well. All right, talking to OCU stunt coach Mandy Gersheski. You can follow the stars on OCUsports.com.